to this section, we'll be looking at tests for some common redox reactions. Note, common redox reactions are predicted by color change. Therefore, once you're faced with this kind of reaction, you suspect a redox reaction. If, that's, if there's a color change, you suspect a redox reaction while the final state in the use of oxidation number to ratify. So when you, when you have a reaction in which there is a color change, you can suspect a redox reaction. But then you cannot use the final oxidation number to ratify or to state whether this is an oxidation reaction. A, whether this is a reduction oxidation reaction, that's a redox reaction. Test to ratify oxi oxidized, that's which, of, which one is oxidized, which one is reduced, which of the reactants is the oxidizing agent, and which of the reactants is the reducing agent. Feel a few examples. Conk H2SO4 is an oxidizing agent which is used in oxidizing certain metals and even non-metals. At the same time, it is reduced to sulfur 4 oxide, SO2. The SO2 produced changes yellow. Sorry, the SO2 produced changes yellow Cr2O7 minus 2, that's chromate, to green Cr3+. So when you have a reaction, where you have H2SO4 and potassium dichromate, when a re oxid oxid okay, reduction of the H2SO4 takes place, the SO4 produced will react with the chromate ion to change its color from yellow to green. Like we have in this example, so K2Cr2O7, potassium dichromate plus 3SO4, 3SO2 plus H2SO4 to give you K2SO4 plus CrCO4 bracket 3 plus H2O. So this complex K2Cr2O7 is yellow in color. This compound is yellow in color. But when this compound is formed as a result of reduction of H2SO4, when this CrSO4 3 might as CrSO4 bracket 3 is formed, it, it, it gives a green color. So that is why you have a change in color from yellow to green. H2SO4 is the oxidizing agent, but itself will get reduced in the process. In the same way, in the reaction between copper and 2H2SO4 to give CuSO4 plus 2H2O plus SO2. This is also a redox reaction taking place between copper, Cu, and tetrazo sulfate 6, H2SO4, which is an oxidizing agent. Acidified KMnO4 solution turns from purple to colorless. When SO2 is bubbled through it, acidified KMnO4 solution turns from purple to colorless, when SO2 is bubbled through it, the MnO4 oxidizes SO2 to H2SO4, while in itself it is reduced to manganese 4, sorry, manganese 6 ion. You have the equation as SO2 plus 2K MnO4 plus 2H2O to give it K2SO4 plus 2MnO4. SO4 plus H2SO4. The color changes from this. This compound has a purple color, but when it reacts with SO4, it forms H2SO4, which is colorless. So that's the color change observed. And the change in oxidation state for KMnO4 is from plus 7. For manganese, is from plus 7. To plus two. The ox oxidation state of Mn, that's manganese, in KMnO4 is plus seven, but it will be changed to plus two, which is the oxidation state of Mn in MnSO4. So you note the change in oxidation state. 
And in this case, there is a reduction in the oxidation number. That means reduction, right? Yes. SO2 will be changed to H2SO4. The oxidation state of sulfur in this compound, SO2, is plus 4. But in this, it is plus 6. So there is increase in oxidation number denoting oxidation. Another one is acidified K2Cl2O7. Oxidizes ion 2 in the form of ion 2 tetra sulfate 6, FeSO4, to ion 3 salt. So from ion 2, Fe2+, to ion 3. And itself, that's the K2Cr2O7, will be reduced to Cr3+, which is and this redox reaction will be detected by a color change from yellow to green. We also have this equation here, 14H plus plus Cr2O7, 2 minus, plus 6 electrons, to give you 2Cr3 plus plus 7H2O. This is the equation of the redox reaction. And for, for ion, we have Fe2 plus gaining one electron, sorry, losing one electron to give you Fe3+. Plus. So iron was oxidized from ion 2 to ion 3. And we have that ion 2 is green in color. Number 4. Chlorine gas oxidizes green Fe2 plus to brown Fe3+. Plus. We have 2 Fe3 Cl2 plus Cl2 to give you Fe Cl3. So Fe ion 2 has a green color. Fe2 plus has a green color while Fe3 plus Fe3 plus has a yellow color. So change in oxidation state from plus 2 to plus 3 will also mean change in color from green to yellow. Number 5, SO4 can reduce hydrogen sulfide. That's H2SO4. Sorry, H2S. This is hydrogen sulfide, H2S. In H2S plus SO2 to give you 2H2O plus 3S. So you see that hydrogen sulfide was reduced to sulfur. This is the oxidation, oxidizing agent that reduced H2SO4 to sulfur and itself was oxidized. So you have a Color change from colorless to yellow deposit, yellow deposit of sulfur. H2SO4 colorless to give you a yellow deposit of sulfur. So you have color change from colorless to yellow. Recap. Common redox reactions are predicted by color change. You have color change from yellow to green when in the reaction between K2Cr2O7 plus 3SO4 3SO2 plus H2SO4 to give you K2SO4 plus Cr bracket SO4 3 plus H2O. Number 2, SO4 plus 2KMNO4 plus 2H2O will give you K2SO4 plus 2MNSO4 plus H2SO4. And the color changes from purple color of potassium permanganate to the colorless color of H2SO4. Same goes for ion 2 chloride and I, reacting with chlorine to give you ion 3 chloride. Ion 2 I, ion, 2 ion that's Fe2 plus is green in color while F, Fe3 plus is yellow in color. So as the addition number changes from plus 2 to plus 3. The color changes from green to yellow. With that, it comes to the end of this section and to the end of this topic. Thank you.